Now let us derive an expression for the equivalent inductance of two uh, inductors connected in parallel. Suppose we have two inductors like this connected in parallel between the points let's say A and B. Let this be the point A and this one is the point B. And between A and B we have provided let's say an EMF E total. And through the point A I have passed a current I. Since A is a junction the current at A will split to I1 and I2. Clear. I1 flow, flow through the first inductor and I2 flow through the flows through the second inductor. They will again meet here and flow as I that is come out of come out of B as I itself. Now let's say L1 be the self-inductance of the first inductor and L2 be the self-inductance of the second inductor. Now since these two coils are these two inductors are close to each other the system has an induct mutual inductance of let's say M. Clearly in both of these coils current is flowing from left to right. Clear. And one more point we know that since this is a parallel connection for a parallel connection EMF remains the same and if I uh, let's now call that as E1 and E2 we know that E total is equal to E1 equal to E2 since for a parallel connection the EMF remains the same. Now uh, when you consider the current at the junction A, you know the total current I is equal to I1 plus I2. Clear. Uh, differentiating with respect to T, you know dI by dT is equal to dI1 dT plus dI2 dT. Clear. Call that as equation number one. Now let us consider the EM of E1. You know e EMF will be EMF across the inductor, uh, first inductor will be due to two reasons. One due to self-induction, that is, self-induction will be L1 times dI1 by dt plus the EMF due to mutual induction. Uh, that is M times since the uh, flux due to mutual induction will be uh, the presence of current in the second coil. So dI2 by dt. We already discussed about this earlier in the uh, series combination of inductors. Clear. So E1 this is the EMF due to self induction and this one is the EMF due to mutual induction and clearly for mutual induction uh, the reason for the mutual induction is the current due to second coil so here you have to take you, you have to take di2 by dt clear now the em of across the second coil let's call that as let, let's call that as e2 call this equation as equation number 2 you know E2, E2 for the EM of E2 will also due, will also be due to two reasons. One, the self-induction of the coil itself, that is L2 times dI2 by dt, since the current flowing through the second coil is I2, plus mutual induction times dI1 by dt. Clear. Similar to this one. Now we have the EMF across these two inductors remains the same for parallel connection. So E1 equal to E2, uh, which means equating these 2 and 3, that is 2 equal to 3, you will get L1 dI1 by dt plus M dI2 by dt equals 
L2 Di2 by Dt plus M Di1 by Dt. Now taking the Di1 by Dt terms to the one side, to one side you will get, let me erase this. That is taking this M D I1 to the left, you will get L L1 D I1 by D T minus M D I1 by D T is equal to take this term to the right. So L2 D I2 by D T minus M D I2 by D T. That is taking di1 by dt common di1 by dt times l1 minus m is equal to di2 by dt here di2 by dt is common times l2 minus m. Therefore, uh, di1 by dt will be, uh, you can write this as, first write the L2 minus M term first, L2 minus M divided by L1 minus M times Di2 by Dt. Clear, call this as equation number 4. Now. Now we, we know that di1 by dt will be di1 by dt plus di2 by dt. Clear? Implies you know di by dt is equal to let me write uh, this one equation for instead of di1 by dt. So, this will be L2 minus M by L1 minus M D I2 by DT plus this term you write that as such uh, that uh, write that as D I1 I2 by DT itself. So, plus D I2 divided by DT. Instead of di1 by dt, I, I just put the equation for and di2 by dt, that one itself. Clear? So, this in here, the di2 by dt is common. So, you can simplify this as di by dt will be Taking this this L D I two by D T common, you will get L two minus M divided by L one minus M plus one times D I two divided by D T. Call this as equation number. Let's say five. Now you know. For a for the parallel connection, the total EMF E total will be equal to E2. Clear? Or E1 equal to E2 equal to E total. Now let's consider E total equal to E2. So total EMF will be, you know, total EMF is equal to equivalent EMF L equivalent into di by dt where i is the total current e2 you know that we already have written that you you can check the equation 3 that is l2 di2 by dt plus m di1 by dt and at the start of the start of this derivation we have written this equation e2 now Let's put L equivalent instead of di by dt. You can write this one. 
that is L2 minus M by L1 minus M plus 1 is equal to L2 into sorry L2 plus M times di2 by dt is equal to L2 di2 by dt plus M into you know di1 by dt is equal to L, L1 L2 minus M by L1 minus M di1 sorry di2 by dt we we uh, already derived this equation before in the at the start of the equation clear now here the di2 by dt term is common so you can write this as l equivalent you can cross multiply this that is l2 minus m plus L1 minus M divided by L1 minus M L1 minus M times Di2 by Dt is equal to L2 plus M times L2 minus M divided by L1 minus M in whole brackets di2 divided by dt clear di2 by dt is common you can cancel this one and this one or upon simplifying this you will get let me erase this you know l equivalent times l uh, you just write L1 plus L2 minus M minus M will be minus 2M divided by L1 minus M in equal to uh, you can take this to the left that is L2 into L1 minus M plus M into L2 minus M whole divided by L1 minus M. So L equivalent is equal to L1 plus L2 minus 2M divided by L1 minus M equal to you can write this as L1 L2 minus L2 M plus M L2 minus M square whole divided by L1 minus M clear you can cancel this L1 minus M and L1 minus M also this L2 M and ML2 both gets get cancelled clear so L equivalent will be equivalent inductance will be Mm, you can take this numerator to the right side so l1 l2 minus m square divided by l1 plus l2 minus 2 so this is the expression clear